Hello, this is Cameron for another video. Um, I'll be showing you now a Game Boy Advance emulator for your PSP. You have to have custom firmware. Um, if you're over 3.52 M33, you'll need the 1.5 kernel add-on, and you'll have to enable it. So turn on via recovery mode. I'm not sure if I have my PSP on 1.5 kernel. Head over to configuration and make sure game folder homebrew says 1.5 kernel. Mine already does, so go back and exit. Program is called GPSP 0.9. It's an original GPSP, so you don't have to worry about having an unofficial GPSP because everything in that GPSP is official. let me just change the theme for you oh sorry yeah all right head over there'll be a link for this on the side description over there somewhere you simply download it Extract the GPSP and GPSP percentage sign folder to your game 150 folder, and you gotta download this program called GBA, not program, but just a patch called GBA BIOS, and it is an illegal thing, so I can't provide the link for that. But just use Google, and you're bound to find it. And just think that stick that GBA BIOS thing in your uh, GPSP folder in your game 150 kernel in your game 150 folder and that's also where you put your ROMs in that you download so I've only got one ROM in at the moment Pokemon Fire Red to get something like this bear in mind that X doesn't work here, so you've got to press with circle. And there you have it, Pokemon. All working, great colors, everything's great. Running at a great speed, wild Caterpie appeared. You can download the ROMs from PSPISO.com. It just requires a small registration. And if you have a Game Boy Advance emulator on your computer, the ROMs also work on this one. You've got to place the ROMs in the same folder, GPSP folder, where you placed your GBA BIOS file. So you can see everything's working. Thanks for watching this camera for instructions are somewhere over there. If you like my videos please subscribe.